is a person of interest in this case based on what people are saying he is a is the sus main suspect in the previous um, abduction and he's also what we call a fugitive from justice approximately 2 40 p.m saturday evening i got a call from my mother that my sister and i should go and feed the animals we were at my aunt's house um in the evening as we just got the call that felicia was found so we went up but um, when we get the call, at first we hesitated because we just woke up there and the sun had, but knowing that um, the curfew hours, we decided to come down to feed them. We came down, got something to eat, and decided to go. Um, sister took up the bag and the bucket for the feeder, and we go around it together. I was at a section fetching the water while she was attending to the pigs. When I went there where she was supposed to be, I, did, I realized that she wasn't there. Knowing that there was another pig pen around in the vicinity, I went around there and I saw no trace of her, nor the pig that was missing, nor the, the bucket. Started calling her because I knew that something was wrong. Started calling her, didn't hear any response, went out back at the front saw a man that we stay with, um, Sylvester Davis, and told him what was taking place. Instantly, he went around there, started calling her, and said something was wrong. I called my mother. She was coming from Kingston at the time. I called her and told her. When I call, after I called her about a minute after I saw residents out of the community coming down, um, my brother and his accomplices went around there and came back with no trace of her. Have you picked up anything at all that would indicate the young lady's presence or the gentleman? No, we have not picked up. We have been getting a lot of reports of him being seen. Several places and that has caused some of the concern because um, places are varied. And when you get the same sighting for six places that are miles apart, you know that they can't all be true. So I'm using this opportunity to ask members of the public don't get caught up in the euphoria and mislead the police. It is drawing a lot of energy from our resources and we can't be all places at all times. So that is one of the concerns I have. Well, we have a large contingent. I, I, I wouldn't give you the numbers, actual numbers, but I can tell you the security forces we have in excess of 100 persons. And we have all the entities that you can think of. From JDF, we have a large number to include in their canine, and we are covering as wide a ear as possible in search of this child. And our intention is to find the child at the soonest, because we know that time is of essence for this operation. Mm -hmm. Well, so far we have not got, gotten any sighting of the child, but we are getting persons saying that they have seen um, the suspect. So what we have done is to send out flyers with the hope that for those who didn't know that they'll have an appreciation of who the suspect is and who the child is as well. And just for clarity, Davian Brown is not being considered a person of interest in this case. Cer certainly, he is a person of interest in this case based on what people are saying. He is a sus he's a sus main suspect in the previous um, abduction and he's also what we call a fugitive from justice because he had a case pending in the court, should have been reported on condition of bail and he has not reported. So he are, he's somebody we need. Him there and nobody never really would have expect this because the people them, you know, the people them offer them kindness because him depend on a condition, him get bail and out on a condition and you can't see which part him come from because him say a Portland, you know. Because I don't really know him like that neither, you know. But them probably know somebody who are related to him or something. So I saw him get the connection and them offer for help. And we really never know if they would have come to this because I'm there actually a year now. You can call it a year. It's mm -hmm. someone who would have interacted with your children too, nine year you have a ten year old daughter. Yeah, I have a nine year old and a seven year old. Even recently, I asked him to assist the little girl just to come back home forget you know a notebook because 
her mother busy and me and her work, me and her work, bring her to work with me so she can get to do her school work. She end up leave her book and, and him because him there at the yard straight. Anytime him now also, him there at the yard. You know? So you treated him as family? Yeah, everybody accept him. Up to this point since last Thursday, if I even Thursday in the day, he could have walked in any house around the place. Because he's there and he take time and he gets so connected with the people, them, you know? The man will leave a youth and go around and fish and them things. And people like that, we see him come and the youth, them really, they're around him and them something. So nobody never really expect this. Knowing what you know now, how do you feel? Terrible, terrible. Extremely terrible, yeah? No one say yeah, it could have even happened to him there in the house with just two females, you know. Or it's a three females, you know. The person where would have responsible for him, her daughter and her granddaughter. You understand? So it could have happened even in this. So. You get what I say? So it's terrible. When he just came here, did you know that he was on charge? He was on bail for rape? Well, we never know exactly. It take, it take a little time. It take a little time before we start really questioning him situation. Until we find out, say, well, him dep and rape here with a, a gun charge also. But you know, we never go to bash nobody. You know? Everybody will yeah, have somebody and yeah, yeah, we have to look out for each other. So the only thing, uh, he mess up big time. He mess up big time in a less than an hour. Because in the right round from the front there, so one cool stove light, him have fish, him just not too long co come from river. From there, I come in, come here, say, I have peas out there, boil, because I have cook food. So a river is gone now for go scale the fish. You know? That's the way me I find out in Ghana River for the scale the fish and this so everything start. You know, no food, no bother cook, I, I, I be a nonsense.